I will find the unknown voltage Vx in this circuit using source conversion technique. Vs is the control voltage of this voltage dependent current source. So since this is force, uh, source conversion technique, this one is 40 volts given. Uh, I, can I can convert this current source and the parallel resistance into a voltage source and a series resistance so I'm doing that this one is 8x um, sorry 8 ohms and this is Vx is the voltage here and current source polar uh, direction is in this direction so voltage sources will drive the current in the same direction and the value will be 10 times 3 that is 30 volts and here is 10 ohms and I will also convert this one into a voltage source and a series resistance. That way I will get just one series resistance, uh, series circuit here. So this is the, this 10 ohms resistance, I'm writing it uh, first. And then the voltage source, this is a current source and the direction is in this direction. So the voltage source polarity will be in this direction. And that will be 2Vx times 10 so 20 Vx that's how the value will be and this is the unknown uh, Vx and this is 40 volts there so I can from here I can write the current the series current that will flow through the circuit is I so basically I'm interested in finding Vx Vx will be I the series current times 8 which is the value of the resistance. So I will be here 40 plus 30 minus 20 Vx because the polarity of this voltage source is minus plus minus plus so these two will be added and this one will be subtracted because this is in the other direction and I am the given polarity of Vx is in this direction that means the current it's assumed that the current is flown in that direction so that's how I have I have written the uh, value of the uh, voltage so basically this one is plus minus minus plus minus plus so I'm writing as if the current goes in this direction so basically I am assuming the I in this direction that's what I'm doing so this is there and the sum of the resistances will be here 8 plus 10 uh, 8 plus 10 plus 10 so that will be 28 and times 8 here so Vx will become 70 minus 20 Vx and here is 28 times 8 here so that's becoming 28 Vx and this is 8 times 70 560 minus that will be 8 times 20 so that is minus 160 Vx so this is becoming 188 Vx is equal to 560 so Vx is 560 over 188 so that's 2.98 volts so that's the value of Vx.